Oh, shut up. But well, I know that Grouski is a dude, but ah, I saw the effing ghost. Why does nobody? Yeah, I'm starting to feel woozy. I've got no clue what's happening. What? Definitely. Ah! Nay, what's wrong? <laughs> Holy crap, uh... Ah, my head... Jeez. <laughs> Uh, let, let's get to the car. I've got migraine pills and we can get you home. No! I need to talk to everyone tonight. What? Everyone. Okay, okay, okay. I need everyone. No, stop talking. Go get in the car. Uh, th thanks for, like, coming. Well, you were kind of demanding back there, May. Are you okay? Look, again, we live here. This is my house. Yeah, you're in my living room. Or our living room. No, I'll accept the thanks. So, like, do you have an idea of what's going on? Well, there's a ghost that's in my head. And there's a ghost following me. I honestly have no idea. But there's a ghost, and it's after me. Do you have any idea how weird that sounds? Why would it be after you specifically? I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe that something's happening with you, May. I just don't know that it's a... Ghost. Yeah, dude. There are like 50 better explanations for all of this. Occam's razor and such, the most logical thing is probably the right solution or something. Like what? No, you have like sudden stress migraines, all caused by whatever happened on that harvest night, and all originating from any kind of trauma you managed to gets when going to college and such and you saw something that freaked you out and makes you stress out and it makes the most sense you know well, I get migraines and May you've gone through a lot of life changes recently that kind of stuff does not always go well with people and I don't know stress does weird things to people Okay, fine. Fine, whatever. I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw. If you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. Are you really gonna hike up past the basketball courts? It's late, dude. Ah, uh, what do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. I'll go with you. Really, Angus? Listen, I, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Ah, dude! So let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that, but I just couldn't find the right words. But honestly, Angus, you said it much better. Ah, you guys! It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's bucks hunting season. Ah, uh, we're outlaws. Th thank you for believing me. Uh, mostly, I just don't want you wandering around up there in this current state when you were acting. Well. Basically, I'm very concerned about you, May. I don't want you there alone. If something bad happens, at least one of your friends is there to maybe get you to safety. And honestly, alone, at night, with weird stuff happening in town, please think, May. That's close enough. Alright, 
Let's hunt some ghosts. I uh, haven't been on a night hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why do you gotta listen for owls, Greg? Owls are cool. Alright. I got work in the morning, so I can't stay up for too long, so let's go catch us a ghost. We will certainly try. The skull. Little Joey's dang skull. Is this why he won the, why his spirit won this? Must he be avenged? Because we saw him. Oh boy. So, if this turns out to be a total bust, we'll at least still have the possible adventure with the historical society with Greg. How have I never been back up here? Uh, fences work, you know. They keep people like you out. Nah, people are up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What is up here? Ah, uh, just all junk and trees and animals. Okay. Mm, what is it, Bia? It's nothing. Nothing? Or nothing as in, it's nothing but a ghost. I was praying. Wow! Really? Yeah, let's go. Were you, were you praying for our success in this evening or praying that we don't do something horribly stupid? Like even God can't stop us from doing something horribly stupid. This is gonna be a mistake. The mine is here. That be a mine cart. Wow! Uh, gotta put all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this from when you were 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. How did they even get all of this back up in here? I don't know. But honestly... <laughs> What's up, May? Mm, as you said, nothing. J just like... All this old, old stuff out here. It's here every night when you go to sleep. So, I mean, your house is there too at night when you go to sleep. And it will be there too when you wake up. It's out here in the dark. So old. So old, so old, so old. Dude! Hey, me! I'm fine. Uh, we should go back. This is stupid. No, it's fine. Ghost hunts, woo! Fun! Definitely fun. I think we're going mad. After all that's happened... Like, we're getting worse and worse, aren't we? Like, I don't believe that we're making stuff up. I definitely don't. But... Yeah, even so. What the... Huh? Oh my god. What... The... Hell... Indeed. Um... Are there normally people around here in the middle of nowhere in the woods? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight random people add whoever's screaming. No, no! Ah, uh, hell, he's awake already. Anyone got any juice? No, no, guys! Ah, oh, hell. Guys, guys, wait! Uh, Lurf, you knew this was gonna happen. You knew it the moment you screwed this whole thing up. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake! I owned up to it! Or if this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You left the goddamn arm in front of Clay Clack. Yeah, 
Angus? Greg? This is proof I am not making stuff up. Because of you, God knows what's gonna happen to this town. What was I supposed to do? It was your screw up. Oh, his leg's stuck. Oh, and it wasn't like you could have called any of us. I, I panicked, okay? I, I was embarrassed. I sure wish you called me, Lurf. You think any of us want to do this? Guys, we can figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But, 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 I, I got a family. Lurf, don't insult us. You know you don't gotta worry about Jeannie and the girls. They will be completely taken care of. They'll never want for nothing. And he's not gonna budge with that leg sticking straight out. Oh hell. <laughs> Dave, Rick, Benny, guys, you know me! Alright, Dave, you hold him. I'm sorry, Lurf. You know we got no choice. And I'd appreciate it if you stopped laying a guilt trip on us. No, 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 no! Hold him still. No! Ah! Hold still. This will go easier if... What? Definitely. What? Alright, he's free. Okay, what the hell is going on? Sure, if someone got trapped here, with his legs stuck between the rock, you'd call an ambulance personnel and whatnot, a helicopter or something. You don't just drag them out yourself like that. Whatever we're really seeing here right now, this is not good. Lurf. <coughs> Lurf. Ain't no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself to more anguish and... I... No, oh, hell, let's get this over with. We should just make this easy, Lurf. Oh, God, his bone's sticking out. Uh. The hell? Shit! May? May Borowski? Run! No, run! Okay, I did, oh, definitely run. Okay, 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 okay. No, definitely not gonna get captured. Because I think what we just saw is most certainly something we we're not supposed to see. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, oh, this is so gonna end badly, isn't it? This is so gonna end badly. Where are Greg, Angus, and Bia? Okay, are, if you're definitely getting closer. You're definitely getting closer. Why do I have to jump over that kind of... I'm assuming I have to jump over that stuff. But I'm not going to make the risk. Was that a gunshot? Well, I know one thing for sure. This took a sudden turn. Part for the end of everything. What did we stumble upon? Nice. Wait, why are you... Did we just imagine... No, we can't have... Don't tell me that everything that we just saw, from the moment our head started being funny, followed by all the madness near the mine entrance, don't tell me that was all in our imagination. Nice. Nice! Yep. I barely remember how to play this. It's like riding a bike. You will fail in the beginning, but then it will be like it was always the thing you did. I play this game in my head when I'm falling asleep. Um, I like go over the plots of books I've read. Oh, look at the smarty. I try to remember every place I've ever been. In order. Wow. I mean, you could also just count sheep if you wanted to go to sleep. Because, dear God, that sounds boring. Oh, 
All right, well... Apparently we're right now playing as me, which is cool, but yeah, um, question, where the hell is May? No, oh, I am so tired. I could like curl up on their bed. There's like a whole living area under there. I mean, that is efficient space. I'd say that is efficient space, but now I'm wondering, hey, Angus and Greg, do they sleep together in the same bed? If so, how big is that bed? Or don't they sleep together? Because a two-person bed, that high up? I don't know. That's Honestly, I'm just imagining the possibility of falling out of bed because there were two people in a too small bed. Maybe I'm overthinking things. Mm, I played this until I broke one of the sticks. No, that's harsh. No, I don't screw around, you know. Although, honestly, it was a stressful time. Senior year. Now remember, sorry about your mom. Thank you, Germ. So, no word from my parents? Nope, no word. Did you leave a message at least? But that's bad, right? Yep, pretty bad. Yep. Thanks, guys. Oh, this game had a great soundtrack. Very high school summer. I listened to like half the bands on it. We're gonna we're going to see the blank tones in a few days. No Well we were I don't know. Okay. Well, if you still go, I hope you enjoy it. I don't see anyone out there. Nah, just wait, he'll be back. So, we still have no idea who this is? Okay. That's a sign. No, we did not just make things up. We are hiding from someone inside of our own house and we're not leaving, basically. So... We still have no idea who this person is. Ah, uh, big guy. Dirty coat. Or oh, several. They could swap out. I can't tell. Uh, getting dark earlier. Longest night is coming, and I'm starting to begin to think that longest night might not actually be a Christmas related thing, but rather the time of day where the night is longest. And apparently that's a holiday. Okay, so, got brownies, got sodas. Are you okay, Angus? Want some brownies? I'm making brownies. And... Yeah... Uh, maybe lasagna? No, lasagna. I definitely like lasagna. But that's like hot food and not dessert food. So, lasagna? No, I found one in the freezer. Why do you have all this food? You need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Aren't you, like, scared and worried? Oh, I'm totally scared and worried, Bia. But I solved that issue by eating. Stress eating. Good dinner makes everyone feel better, you know. Someone's gonna take care of you. Thanks, Angus. You're extremely good. Just in case no one has said that yet. Oh, no more than anyone else. So, that guy you saw in the woods at Possum Jump? Yup. Were those guys like that guy? Yup, uh, sorta. Uh, he had a hat. Hmm. I need to defrost the lasagna. Oh, do I? Do you cook it frozen? Uh, you... I think... You definitely defrost it because you put it out early in the morning from the freezer. And then when it is done, you put the frozen or the no longer frozen lasagna into the microwave for a minute or three or four. 
you could also put it in two minutes and then just mix it around a bit in between to make sure that everything gets hot but then you should have tasty lasagna however has anyone seen may no one has seen may we don't know where may is may is missing this is not fine guys this is a bad situation in case nobody was aware of that just yet yep bad situation but we got games and my boyfriend is making food yep yes I'm wait everybody shut up someone is coming someone to the door what I heard it too seriously what There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everybody be very quiet. But I'll continue playing my game. And the noise is still making noise. And... Oh my god. Okay. Well. Whatever's going on. We got away, but we certainly saw something which we were not meant to see. I think that is abundantly clear right now. But that just begs the question, what did we see? Like so many people, are these people from Possum Springs? Where the hell are we? Like seriously, where are we? Where are we going? Cause this is as fast as I can walk. Um. Okay, I'm kind of worried about our health right now. Plus the fact that, hey, if uh, whoever these people were we're stalking Bia, Greg, and Angus right now. And Germ. Um. Are they still after us? And can we even make it back home? Because this is not looking good. Wait, that's the church. Oh, God is here. In this room. I believe that. Times like this, we can call out and know that our cries are heard. <laughs> While we're here, then maybe someone would like to say something about me. I'm not dead. Oh, that, w that, that would be nice. Um, May is a good girl. She and I explored the stars, and <laughs> oh, she loved to hear about them. She... I am sorry. But it can be difficult. Anyone else? I've always known May as the kid down the street. A little younger than me, but tough. I've been through it in the last couple of years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce. And I just think it's not fair. The May of all people should have trouble. Where's the God in that? Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. Uh, thank you, Selma. Anyone else? Am I dead? Or am I still alive? Or am I dying? I'll say something. Mayborowski's always been a menace. And I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I gotta say. 
Uh, okay. Uh, thank you, William. <laughs> speak up. Go ahead. May was a thought to all of us on the block. Uh, speak for yourself. Uh, sometimes folks is in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope we find out what exactly happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night. Down the end of Center Ave. And someone was out there hunting illegally. Um, they got shot at. Really? That's not what happened! And May fell and... Uh, she must have fallen off a million things a million times. All it takes is landing the wrong way one time and... Oh... oh well... I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. See if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she... I'm sure she's fine and totally not dying. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. No, what's happened to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Nah, supposed to be fixing a door. Doors breaking down seems to be a very common occurrence at Bosom Springs, you know. A door in here? Nope. Okay, so... Uh, she's gonna be fine. For today, at least, ways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. Who are you? The house is gone. Me! Oh, thank God. Well, what did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? Me? Honey? Everything. At least we're, we are still alive, but... Okay. How much of this stuff are we imagining? Like, obviously the church scene just now might have been in our imagination. Or were we indeed in the church and then were we brought to the hospital? No, we, we must have been brought to the hospital instantly. So, what does that make of this right now? We're still hearing the beep, 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 beep of our heart rate monitor. <sighs> We must be imagining this, right? I honestly don't even know anymore what we need to imagine and not imagine. What is real, what is not. Whatever the case may be. Hunters, hunting buck, there, definitely not. Well, at least Angus, Bia and Greg will now know what it feels like to not be believed. Even though that's not exactly what I would want, but... Uh, I definitely want to go inside of that door, I guess, or can I go further? Is this where we need to be? Can we go even further? Nope. Walking all this way for no reason except for curiosity. Well, at least, not yet, curiosity has killed the cat. Oh. No, no, that's not my voice. That is Bia. Oh my god. Oh, we were the one! Ah, we were the one outside the door. Bia? Oh my god. May? Holy shit, it's May. It's me. I'm alive. You came back to life! I, I don't think I died. I mean, that only happens when I'm around you, but... 
No, I don't. She. I don't think she was dead, Greg. Pizza party. This is not the time for a pizza party. I'm feeling woozy. Oh, you should lay down, May. You can sleep in our bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? Like I'm currently working on a high score and it would be a real shame if I had to stop right now. No, the sound is good. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just like wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way up here. Jeesh. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. And you could definitely say that. I sure hope she's alright. No, uh, me too. She's a good person. And both of you, shush. May needs to sleep and rest. So, how well do you know this guy? Well, we order pizza, what, twice a week? Uh, at least. From up by the highway now, since past the building closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Saving money? Not on pizza! Uh, the police are lifestyle beer. <laughs> okay, well, just as long as we're sure that the delivery guy is... safe. I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the lights. That totally won't be suspicious. And I guess hide here until we die. Alright. Well, as long as there is a plan. Hello? Okay, that was us. Again, it's like, who's talking? I don't know. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him! It's the pizza guy! Pizza's here! Well, we need food. We definitely need... Whoa, I don't think we need food. So, what happened? No, we called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? Nah, just took a very long nap. Nice. Um... Yeah, nice. Not the word I would use, Greg, but sure, nice. Still haven't eaten that? Oh, we're really not hungry, are we? No, I had this dream. Or like, a vision. Or I time traveled. I don't know. I'm like in and out of consciousness right now. Can you not eat? You should eat, be in May. I don't know if I can. I feel like puking. Uh, sorry, Mom. Oh, you scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. Oh, we'll come pick you up. Oh, it's cool. I'm, I'm gonna just sleep here. A oh, beer is there? Eh, uh, BS here. Okay. Now I'll be back in the morning. Uh, have Bia drive you home. We do not want you wandering out all on your own when you could collapse at any moment in time, May. I will. May? I know. Oh, give us a call when you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. I love you, sweetie. Well, we're a mess. A true, absolute mess. Dear God. Uh, do you want a brownie? Do I look like I can eat a brownie right now if I didn't even eat the pizza? Uh, nah, I can't really eat right now. Like, I puke, but... There isn't anything in there. So I'd like puke my actual guts out. And I'm not entirely sure if that's what you want on your carpet. Oh, right. 
Uh, you need your guts, obviously. Eh, uh, for the moment at least. Eh, uh, boy. Well. So, um, regarding what we saw, what is our plan of action? Dude, well, we can Oh, you've got no idea. You could say that. Well, we get out of this. I don't know if we're getting out of this. What we saw, we were not meant to see. Well, even if we don't, and we're ghosts, we should hang out more. Deal. I mean, till death do us not part. Uh, what even was that game that you were playing, Germ? No, oh, Werewolf Shred, the Gnar 3. Wow, I played this at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it yesterday, at home. Cool. Well, I hope you get a high score. So, be ya. Do you believe me now? They've got Wi-Fi. Nice. And it's like we're a real pl It's like we're a real place. At least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. It's the 1800s here. Hey, May. Yeah? I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. Yeah. 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 Can we all hit the sna- hit the sack? Not the snack. We're not going to the snack, Falcon, May. Can I, like, wander around the apartment? Yeah, can we all hit the sack? Maybe. It's late, I'm tired, and... Oh boy. Mm, cool. I'll be right out. But really, what's our plan of action from here on out? Hey kids, can we do the lights out now? I'm gonna drop over. Yeah, dude. Yeah, sounds good. I'll see you all tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? Well, obviously, they were just after you guys and I was not there. I have got nothing to do with any of this, so safer for me at least. Nobody's been following me. I wasn't in the woods the other night. Oh, right. I'll keep an eye out, though. Also, I got mace. You carry mace? Uh, since that dude followed me home that one time. <laughs> oh, right. Wait, that dude who followed you home. Might that have been what we saw too? Hey, mate. Yeah, Germ? Uh, what's your name short for? Good question. Margaret. My name's Margaret, but I prefer May. Uh, take care of yourself, Margaret. You too, Jeremy. Nah, that's nice. This does not look comfortable. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? No. Do I want to know? Honestly, we weren't talking then. I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now, and... I was playing this video game. You were, like, dating ghosts or something. Okay. And uh, I was really into it. Played, like, 24-7. Until this one afternoon. And suddenly, like, something broke. Broke? What do you mean? It was just, like, pixels. The characters on screen, uh, I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore, they were just shapes. And the lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. 
Like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me alone. And like that realization, like dumped out on the screen and into real life. It went outside in the tree out front. I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by. And he was just shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just dead. Wow. That's... Uh, that sounds kind of sad, but at the same time, difficult to picture. And the next day was that softball game. And Andy was the pitcher when I was up. And he was just... Shapes, too. Just lines someone wrote. Not real. Like nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry and just... I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him. Smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. Oh my god, May. That really does not sound healthy. Have you talked to anyone about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy. With Dr. Hank. Oh god. He's the worst. And he made me start a journal. A journal? Yeah, he kinda just said it would help to be able to get my thoughts down. Mm, did it help? Kinda. Sorta. But since this whole thing happened, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes. Like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while. Uh, but I, I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. Uh, uh, there was a statue of like the founder or something. A really shitty statue. Like all rusty metal. And it was these shapes. It was pointing down at me. And I was so scared. Didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. And finally I got up the courage to leave. And I came home where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone and it wasn't just dead shapes. Watching me all over. Jeez, man. And then you returned home and it turned out that not everything was the way that it was. It might have not just have been shapes, but still not the same as you remembered. Something broke in my head, in my life. I don't mean to be like, whatever, but it sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff, May. Like, I can help you find some help for it. Maybe. Uh, Dr. Hank already tried. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry. And the half dozen other things he does. And maybe leave the mental health services to someone else. Like, there are such things as depression and anxiety and like... I don't know. What you're going through. It exists. I... I thought when I came home, I just... I felt so safe here. And everything made sense for a few days. Then all this... And... 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 Oh, shush, May. It's gonna be okay. We're going to get through this together. We'll figure this out. I'm so scared, yeah. I know. We're all scared. But we're going to make it. You should get some sleep. That will help. 
Mm, nej. Uh. Well, B is already gone. That explains an awful lot of why we left college. Mental health issues are not to be underestimated, let me tell you that. And I'm not sure in how of a manner what May is going through is real in regards to real life, but nonetheless. Ah, dear, oh dear. Uh, bye guys. I love you. The hole in the center of everything. Why are we going out? Why are we going out? This is like the worst thing we could possibly do, going back into the woods. Like on one hand, I'm highly curious as to what the hell was going on, because those were not hunters. You. Who the hell are you? And also, what are you? To see what we weren't meant to see. I don't even know what we saw exactly, but I do hope that what we've seen is at its core a misunderstanding of some kind. That with the crazy stuff that is happening, I am starting to doubt that.